Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Galactica day. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at the only official V the Series action figure to ever be issued, that by LJN Toys in 1985. Now recently I uploaded a very popular episode where we took a look at LJN's 1985 dealer product catalog and especially the action figures and vehicles that were never issued on V the TV series. Now if you haven't seen that video, stop this one right now, go take a look at it and come back because it really will fill in the gaps as to what LJN had planned for V the series. Now we are taking a look at V the enemy action figure that came out in 1985 and this figure was based on that iconic poster that was used in the miniseries as well as the TV show that followed. He's basically on a generic doll body that LGN had created years earlier with a really incredible head sculpt and nice custom outfit and accessories that we're going to take a look at in more detail in a second. Please notice the package that you see right here. It's not only in English, but in French. This package version, which is considered a holy grail, was produced just for those areas of Canada where French was the prevailing language. There is also a version of this package that is in Spanish, and that was limited to Spain and Portugal and is extremely rare. I believe only a few have surfaced over the past few decades. Many collectors have asked why this particular piece made it into production over the four and a half inch figures that everyone wanted. And the answer may surprise you. Legend has it that the toy buyer for Walmart was a huge fan of the TV series and placed a giant order for this 12 inch figure. And because it was so cheap to produce, it didn't require any new tooling. LGN was more than happy to manufacture it for them. Now the body that LJN used for this figure is a big letdown. It's extremely primitive, even for 1985, but the soft goods are really well done. That's where this figure excels. The uniform is extremely well made. It is double stitched in spots and is very nicely tailored and fits 12 inch figures really well. So if you want to customize your own V action figure, you will not be disappointed with this uniform. LJN was one of those companies that loved to incorporate some sort of gimmick as play value into their action figures. And anyone who collects Thundercats knows exactly what I'm talking about. The V figure was no exception to this rule. When you pulled off the human face mask, you saw this hideous lizard alien with flicking tongue action. Here's a close up of the very creepy human face mask accessory with sunglasses. Here is a look at the laser gun that was used on the show. LGN did a great job of sculpting this down for the action figure and the alien's sunglasses. Here's a comparison between the human face mask and the lizard head sculpt. And if you're able to get that mask on just right, you can get the flicking tongue action to work properly. Take a look how creepy that is right out of Alien. Now for some collector's notes concerning this figure. First off, it's almost impossible to find one of these figures in a package that does not have a broken or damaged window. LJN used a very low grade of plastic and the windows turn a dark orange over time as well as crack and fall apart. So if you see one of these at a show or on an auction site, expect for the window to be broken. That is very, very normal. Second of all, the tongue is prone to breaking. So if you find one of these loose, please double check to make sure that the tongue is intact and still works. And lastly, while he's not that rare in the US package, expect to pay between $150 and $400 for one in a decent box. I hope you enjoyed this look at a very cool action figure, the only official figure based on V the TV series. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I will see you in the next episode. Have a great Galactica day, everyone.